been a few months since the city of San Francisco opened this marketplace. They were hoping to move vendors selling legal wares on Mission Street near the 24th Street BART station here so that they could then crack down and clear out the illegal vendors. But as our Jose Martinez shows us, the best intentions in the world don't really mean anything if there's no one to sell to. Rodrigo Lopez is packing up his stall at El Tiangue after eight hours of work, making at least $65. Before the Mission Street vending ban took effect in November, he would have made more like $250 on a typical day. Me, for us, nothing surprised me anymore. But it's going to be like a new start. We start all over from zero. Now he and other permitted vendors forced off the street are getting word that they'll have to move again later this month. The city is shutting down El Tiangue on April 21st. Lack of uh, street traffic, foot traffic, excuse me, on in this area. Uh, the location is kind of in the middle of um, Mission Street between the two plazas. So you have uh, fewer people getting in, on and off the bus and BART. They're walking by uh, this location. So um, they came together with us. We've been communicating with the Vendors Association and decided that it was not worth the resources the city was uh, putting into it and that uh, we should close the site and uh, use the resources to um, help vendors in a different way. That will leave La Placita at 24th and Cap as the last option for vendors who are out here doing things by the book. Uh, we don't really know if it's going to be a better place for us. It's going to be more food, food traffic. It's going to be more sales. It's going to be better for us. At this point, we don't know. Kevin Ortiz with the Latinx Democratic Club has been working alongside the vendors and says this particular experiment has been a waste of basically everybody's time and money. You know, it's heartbreaking given the fact that there's been a ban that's been put into place preventing folks from being able to stay on the street and then burning money in a space that hasn't been properly marketed. For now, Rodrigo says he's going to keep working here and also analyzing his options before making a decision. I got everything on hold until I find out uh, how it's going to be uh, the new, uh, new house, the new place. So you're going to wait until the 21st? I'm going to wait until maybe the 21st, 25th and see how everything's go. And maybe I decide and, uh, and I can say I'm going to choose to, to sell in, in La Placita. And Rodrigo tells me they're going to make the best out of this move, embracing the good weather outside and of course hoping for better days ahead.